Once you've collected the data and gathered all the information you needed to run the analyses, well, you have to do the analysis. This is where the bulk of the consulting work comes in. Your job here is to get the job done, to answer the questions, to solve the problems through quantitative means. If you can make that happen, then you have done what you were supposed to do. Everything else becomes routine. We are not going to spend time talking about the quantitative methods themselves. I'm assuming that you already have some expertise in one or more of a series of technical areas. You understand the issues related to data collection. You understand all of the challenges of data wrangling, data processing, data cleaning. You can visualize the data, perhaps through a dashboard, or using the functionality that comes with various programming languages like R and Python. You can do statistical analysis on the data. You might be able to solve the problem through data science means and machine learning means. Eh. Look, everything that I've listed up to now is part of data science. It's machine learning is just another way in which we can get insights from data. Perhaps you're going to be working with an optimization problem. It could be a queuing system problem. You might have to do trend analysis and forecasting or various time series. You might have to run simulations and so forth. I've listed those because these are all things that I've had to do in my practice. There's a few other things I've done as well that I haven't listed because I think they were one-off. They weren't the types of problems or projects that you would usually be faced with. I remember doing something with ODEs at some point. You'll notice there's not an awful lot of, you know, flat out algebra here or topology, but it doesn't mean that you can't use algebraic approaches and topological methods to get to a solution. But in a sense, all of these courses you might have taken help you hone your analytical mind. Now, I don't know how many of these things you feel you're an expert in. In practice, you probably want to have two or three areas of expertise and a passing, and passing knowledge in the other fields. Over time, you will only get better at these things over time. Do you know where you stand right now on these areas? Do you understand your expertise? Do you think you have expertise? I promise you that you do. It's just a matter of identifying it and realizing that you do have the expertise. 